good morning and welcome back to another vlog today is a beaut of a day so um yeah i'm going to meet some family now for breakfast then i've got a bit of work to do and then i'm also going to take a little trip i think either to the range or elm or there is a like furniture shop near where i live in like this massive warehouse with loads of really quirky sideboards and tables and stuff so i might go there instead i'm not too sure then i need to do some editing i also need to <laughs> create some content for a brand but i'm going to do that while i'm at my mum's so yeah i thought i would start the vlog and just take you with me i'm very casual today we are in the t-shirts and cycling shorts it's meant to be really hot today um so i'm all sun creamed up um skin protection and yeah i thought i'd just start the vlog just say hi and yeah crack on and take you with me today so it's kind of like a day with me pretty much not a normal day because i normally work like 10 hours a day in an office job but this is a annual leave day with me <laughs> so yeah let's just um and see where it takes us but hope you're all well and uh, thanks for returning to my vlog so first off i've decided to quickly pop into matalan and look at their home section um because i'll be interested to see what they've got i haven't been in matalan for ages so um let's just take a look and see what they've got might be good might be bad okay so first off went straight to the home section in matalan and i saw these really pretty laundry service um containers and cleaning equipment and storage boxes i just thought they were looking beautiful and also i love this rustic peg bag um i nearly bought it but i told myself i've already got a pig bag i didn't need it then i saw these really nice green um glasses they had a really good glassware selection actually in here they had some beautiful ribbed ones and um some really good detailed ones so definitely worth checking out if you're looking for some glassware of course here comes the autumn content so they had some really nice bits in matalan and i actually bought this mug a few weeks ago because i thought it might be sold out but it is still there i really like this tray as well um ideal for styling but they had some really cute pieces also a pumpkin towel totally don't need it but really wanted it sometimes you don't want loads of dinner candles you only need two or i need four so this is a good way of just buying them in smaller quantities had a lot of neutral autumn decor see some pumpkin wreaths there also looked in the final reduction section and the only thing that i could really find that i liked was this basket down the bottom it was six pound fifty and it had these neutral leather handles i thought it was really good for laundry or any type of storage really um i did buy a basket last week so i didn't get that next i went to the range so in here i didn't know what to expect because this range isn't that great however i spotted this beautiful candle it was 5.99 in this nice wooden um base i thought it was really nice for the garden and outside it would be been great if it was citronella then i found this leaf tray which again i'm loving the green um it was the last one left actually so they're obviously popular beautiful diffusers this had dried florals in the diffuser um i thought it was really really nice and with a wild flowery scent again six pound great gift next up a tray um this was seagrass and thought it was good kind of white company vibes and it's massive for 10.99 oh that's me <laughs> next up was these speckledy bowls they had a serving tray also they had plates it was brilliant if you could get these in a in a dinner set but they didn't have them pumpkins everywhere it's coming into that type of season so they had white and black ones i seem to have spotted yet another tray this one i think i preferred um didn't have a price on it but i thought it was a really good tray again back to the glassware good glassware in here I, this was very ochre vibes i did like these tumblers i thought they were beautiful tortoise shell they also had some really nice green ones here for the garden and also again these really chunky i think they were actually plastic they didn't really feel like glass but they were really good and they also have the gold rimmed ones if that's what you like then I spotted these gorgeous kind of green outdoor alfresco sets. So they had like jugs, they had plates, serving platters. I really liked these chair cushions. I haven't got a little chair set yet, but it is something that's on my list. So I'm going to remember those and keep an eye on them. Then I spotted this lamp. 5.99 it was like a greeny gray it was cute it was tiny i mean that's the same as a starbucks coffee so i thought why not next were these lamps they were beautiful stone i like the gray as well and the texture i thought two of those would look beautiful lovely range of browns at the moment and gold definitely my vibe 
then I saw these cute little stone base lamps. I was contemplating this one or the other one. So carry on watching the vlog and you'll see which one I actually ended up taking home. <laughs> Next, green. If you're loving the green vibes, this was cute. Little leaf print. Again, really nice. Not that expensive at all. I think it was $8.99, can I see? Yeah, $8.99. More green lamps. Green is definitely in. If you're looking for green, the range is definitely somewhere where you want to go for lamps. They had green shades, green bases, they had glass, ceramic, stone, everything. I might have just bought two lamps. I'll show you when I get home. Okay, so it is ridiculously hot now. I need to put the aircon on, but I thought I'd quickly vlog um quickly talk to you before i blast the air in my face and cool myself down so i just went to obviously matalan and i also went to the range i was about to pop to my garden center on the way home and then go home however i've just looked on instagram and um, just picked up myself again um starbucks went for uh the ice brown the ice blonde brown show Blah, blah, blah. the ice blonde brown sugar oat shake and espresso why is that so hard and why can't they abbreviate it because when you order it you're like can i have the ice brown blah, 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 blah. so yeah i went to as i was saying before god what is on my mind so anyway went to Mat matlan the range just looked on instagram i just saw that abby at the joyful chapter has just been to dunelm and she had a basket full of some really good stuff and she said it was really good so now i've got fomo and i'm just going to go to dunelm now um and just see what they've got really quickly and show you if there's anything that is good out there before i pop to my garden center because i need some bug spray then i'll go home and then we can have a little bit of a sort out but yeah i was about to leave until i got influenced again from instagram and abby it's your fault so yeah let's see what's in dunelm and then hopefully we can go home so here we go in Dunelm and first off went straight to the light shade section and I saw this beautiful rattan with the olive green kind of edging around it. I thought it was really nice in again giving ochre vibes. I also found this a gorgeous lamp that I would have snapped up if I needed it. I love the weave on it and also the size. It was a really big lamp. In the clearance section, this little antique goldy rattan I think would be perfect for my studio. But my studio has not even started yet, so it's going to have to stay there. Loads of linens, tablecloths, table runners, so much here. Found these cute little napkin rings. I thought, again, ochre vibes. I've got a bit of an ochre theme going on at the moment with the dark wood. These are beautiful cushions. I know I saw the green ones in the range, but these in Dunelm were lovely. Perfect for a bistro set. Love the chopping boards as always. I've seen these quite a few times, the round and the long, both beautiful, very neutral colours. Gorgeous log basket. I first of all I thought it was a laundry basket, but again, white company vibes here, definitely. Um, love the seagrass. Beautiful little kind of footstools here. Love this autumn print, and also the neutral and white was giving me Soho kind of interior style. There was loads of faux flowers and foliage. However, nothing that really said to me, I'm real. It was good and it was great, but I felt like I could go somewhere better. So on the way home, after I left Dunelm, I stopped here, which this is Byford. This is a floristry wholesale trade shop i'd like to say they've got loads of bud vases they've got loads of kind of materials to make your own wreaths they you can get flowers here as well as faux flowers so that's what i decided to do i decided to come here and look at the faux flower range so i can talk to you up here because nobody is here so i'm not disturbing anyone but this place has got the most beautiful faux selection flowers or whatever you are looking for like these are gorgeous for autumn and they're all so realistic they're, they're literally they're better than Dunelm or anywhere else that I've been just look how good do they look so I'm gonna see if I can find anything new in here oh I like these oh they're nice for autumn oh wouldn't they like they'd be really nice actually okay i'm gonna have a little look and see if i can find anything that i want to do for an arrangement at home um but look, they've got all like flowers or like wedding flowers look this place is crazy look how pretty these are they've got such a great selection god these are really real actually oh wow oh aren't they <gasps> they're not real this place is nuts so I've picked up a selection of green stems of different ivory, a few berries, and I've got about five here, but I will need something else to go with it. And I was thinking of maybe a little bit of white. Um, 
I'm not too sure I want to keep it quite oh they're quite nice oh what are they mini dahlia spray what are they like oh they're quite cute they're nice They're beautiful. How pretty are they? Like two twenty-five. It's a bargain. It's a real bargain. I don't really want pink though. Green. No. Okay, so we are, I'm not even in focus. There we go. Okay, so just got home. So I'm gonna, um, kitchen is a bit of a tidy. I'm gonna unload what I bought um, today and we're just gonna go through and I'm gonna show you. How nice my flowers look. These are literally, these are all homegrown. I'm sorry, but they are amazing. Look at them, homegrown. No, gardening whiz over here but yeah so let me unbox unbox let me unpack and sort everything out and then we can sit down and i'll go through what i got today um i need to eat because i'm starving okay so i've managed to have myself some lunch and i'm actually sweating it is like late afternoon and the summer <laughs> arrived that's why i'm not doing autumn too much autumn content yet and um, i saw a few autumn bits that you i would have shown you in a few of the shops that um that look amazing but i'm kind of a bit like we need at least a few more weeks of summer and then i can full on be cozy blankets autumn 100 percent. but i just want to show you a few bits i got i didn't actually get a great deal um because i obviously got stuff last weekend but the few things that i did get is i did buy two lamps you'd have seen i picked up two lamps only because one of them was 5.99 which i thought was a complete bargain which was this little one so this is the idella embossed table lamp in gray so it's gray it actually looks quite green so if i show you this so it's got this lovely embossing it's textured it's only small it's only a little tiny one um, and yeah i just thought it would be really cute for um, my console table or even maybe even in the kitchen or um in our lounge i'm not too sure just i thought it was a really cute lamp to have about uh, neutral colors a little, little bit of pattern a little bit of texture i really want to get one of the neptune lampshades um the ones that are kind of diagonally like go like this <laughs> triangular um so i am going to neptune for an event in a few weeks so i will have a little look at their lamps and see what they have and because this is a neutral color you can have loads of different um colors with this you probably wouldn't necessarily have a patterned lampshade but you could have different colors um so maybe even like a dark olive with this or keep it neutral i did get a lampshade just for the time being from where did i get this from was this the range yeah, from the range. So I bought just this cute little linen, tapered linen um, in oatmeal. Really basic. Just a little linen lampshade, which I will pop on here like this for the time being. And I thought it was just really cute and um, could just be put on my console table downstairs. But I do like the idea of having a bit more of a triangular lampshade. I think it would um, look a bit more expensive and a bit classier. So that's what I'm gonna go for. And then my other second lamp that I bought, again, I probably didn't really need to, but it was such a bargain. You'd have seen in my walkthrough in the range, this is the lamp. I bought so this is the hazel table lamp in brown it is a textured and I thought the brown base and it came with this lampshade again I might keep the lampshade I might it looks quite the lampshade looks quite big compared to the base I might even put this little one on you know oh okay I might swap these lampshades that might work actually. Okay, I might swap these lampshades and then get a Neptune lampshade for the little gray green one. 
that's what I might do. So yeah, I thought this was really cute. I think it was only like 15 99 so a complete bargain. If I bring it up close, you could see the textured stone look. So yeah, I thought it was really lovely and would look really nice in my guest room against, because it's a neutral wall like this. So I thought it'd look really nice in the guest room on the chest of drawers. So I'm gonna go and style that up with you in a moment um, so we can see what this looks like. I also picked up, which you'd have seen, is some foliage. So this is from Byford. These ones were 4.50 before. So I just got myself, I don't even know what these are called, but I had these in my wedding bouquet. Does anyone know what these are called? But they're really cute. I just got one of these because I didn't want too much white. I did want it to be quite green, but I just bought one of these stems. I thought they were beautiful. Then I picked up one of these ones, this was a four pounds for the stem. They're quite decent long stems, but again, you can bend them for a smaller vase. So this is, um, it's kind of like an ivy style, but it had these really nice, like berry berries on as well. I thought it'd be really nice for the autumn, this kind of stem. So, and then the lastly, I bought two of these. So these are just, I think they're just bay leaves, um, but they were really realistic. These are a lot better than the ones back in the range and done Elm. So these were 350. So they were gorgeous. I thought they'd bring a bit of depth and a bit of color. And they had quite a lot on the stems. They've obviously got one in the middle, two there, and a little one at the bottom. Um, so I got two of these. So them paired together with this one and then obviously scatter the white through i thought that could look really lovely in a vase um either in a bedroom or downstairs at anywhere like without just as we go a bit more autumnal it'd be nice obviously i love fresh foliage but really realistically you can't have it all the time so i thought something like this i could use over and over again and also mix in with the other faux foliage that i have so that's very exciting also i can make it christmasy put like red berries in but let's not obviously go that far and finally I did also pick up this so this is dried gypsophilia and I've never seen I know what gypsophilia is white it's beautiful but this was eight pounds and it is a bouquet of dried gypsophilia which was giving me the autumn vibes the neutral <laughs> autumn vibes all day long i thought it was absolutely stunning and the color is like a golden kind of it reminds me of like golden fields and yeah i just really liked it so and it's actually quite long like it's quite big so i thought we could put it in a tall vase or i could chop it down i could separate it i haven't no idea but i really liked it and i knew i wasn't going to be going back for a while so i thought i'd get this ready for september october time i thought it even looked really nice in here do you like i think it's nice so that's good so i will um i probably won't style this up i'll probably keep this in my autumn box for now but i am going to style up the lamp and maybe some of that faux foliage in the bedroom next door so let's go do that now um and just make sure that looks all nice and the lamp looks good and we are happy with that. Um, it's pretty much styled already, but I, I do want to change some bits. So we'll come and do that now. And then, yeah, I do need to... I'm looking forward to going to Neptune now in a few weeks for the event because um, I can get a new, lamp, a new lampshade, which is exciting. So, yeah. We are slowly losing the light in here, so I have got to be quick with giving this a restyle. But one of the books I've chosen to use, because I love using coffee table books when it comes to styling up any side tables, consoles, chests of drawers. The one I'm going for today is the 21st Century Cotswolds Volume 2, Pippa Payton or Patton. Um, this is a beautiful book. It's a really chunky, thick book and it has a beautiful spine as well. I use it quite a lot in my photography on my Instagram page, but it is absolutely stunning and full of inspiration. So if you're looking for a book, I will try and link this below, but this one is a must have. So I'll first put that one on there for the lamp to go on. So a new lamp in situ. <laughs> oh, I'm really happy with this. It was $15.99. I mean, I probably would like it if the base was a bit bigger and I may change the lampshade to one of those triangular Neptune ones, but we're just gonna go with it now. Let's style this in there. 
like that. Beaut. Next up, we're gonna have another coffee table book. So this is again, one I've had for years. It's called This Is Home. This is a beautiful cover. Um, like I said, it's kind of looks textured, but it's not. And again, it is full of some beautiful inspiration, a lot of kind of indoor, outdoor inspiration, a lot of woods and materials. Um, yeah, beautiful book to use. So that one is gonna go there. I am going to use some artwork. So I'm going to bring back the um, Ikea frames with the prints. Um, I'll link the company for these prints because these are like my all time favorite prints at the moment, them and um, Muse Home. This is an Ikea frame and the mounts aren't this big, but I do think that if you have a big amount on a frame, it can definitely make the artwork or the image pop more. And I think it can just give you give your frames and your art a bit more depth, a bit more kind of classic look. Um, that's me personally, you may not agree, but I do like a kind of a chunky amount and then like a smaller image. Or if you've got a bigger artwork, have a bigger amount than a bigger frame. Um, I think I've got one in my hallway. Let me try and find a picture and put it here on my hallway console table. I've got a bigger orange tree and then a bigger amount with a bigger frame. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna put that there, I think just to give it um, a bit of artwork. Obviously I could put it up on the wall. That is still something that may happen, um, but at the moment I'm not too sure what to do with the artwork in this room on the wall. So I don't wanna be making holes until I know that I'm spot on and that's what's gonna happen. Then for decor, I'm going for this little Zara home bowl. It's kind of crackle distressed uh, ceramic bowl. So that can go on there. And then of course we need a candle. And if you watch my vlog, um, the vlog before this one, I bought this candle here, if you can see, from um, Home Sense. So this is a Home Sense candle with a nice wooden lid. Um, yeah, really nice. This was 8 99 by the way. This is Jasmine Tea and Oud. Oh, it smells gorgeous. I'm gonna pop that just on there, I think. See, I could swap the print. So do we prefer the oblong? <laughs> oblong, it's a funny word. Or do we prefer the upright? Or rectangle? See, there's something about that. I think I prefer that. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that for the moment and see and let it grow on me and see if I like it. Um, it could definitely do with some colour. It could definitely do with some greenery, maybe some foliage, even a vase this side. Like maybe double the book up on... Sometimes this is a bit small, so I would put two books on here with the lamp and then maybe a lower, smaller vase with foliage, just because it's good to give different heights throughout um, styling a chest of drawers or a console table. That's just me personally. Obviously each to their own and... Um, you're welcome to do whatever you like and whatever suits your home, but that's what I like, giving different heights and it's more interesting to the eye. So I now need to tidy up. That's the problem with styling, is you end up styling and then you've got loads to kind of tidy away. So I'm gonna tidy up the rest of this and get everything sorted. Oh, I'm really low down. Hold, hold on. <laughs> if I move you over here. Hold on. Down you come. <laughs> do, do, do. Stop. I can just sit on the. I can just sit on the floor. You will find a lot of my vlogs. See if I sit on the floor, I'm too small. Now. Whoa! I nearly broke the camera. Is that, is that right? That'll do. So yeah, I'm gonna put. <laughs> sorry about that. I'm gonna put everything away now. Have a tidy up. I've still got um some of the rubbish from oh some of the rubbish from my previous vlog to sort out and put away. So I'm gonna have a bit of a sort out. I'm gonna put my receipts um, online and then you can like get free stuff from HomeSense and like different gift cards and bits and bobs. So if you if you're not have, haven't got a HomeSense or TK Maxx treasure card, go and get one because it's really handy, especially if you go there quite a lot. But I'm gonna leave this vlog here. Hopefully you liked it. Hopefully you like coming with me. Hopefully you like styling. Let me know if you wanna see more of the hauls and the shopping or you wanna see more of how I style my home. Um, I think the next vlog is gonna be this room um, from start to finish. I actually finished it 
at the start of the year and so the vlog actually starts la the vlog starts august 2022 that's when the first i decided to do this room and i'm only going to be putting it out to you now so it is a long process but with the, my car accident which i am going to put i'm going to talk about the car accident in, in another vlog as well um but I'll try and get them out to you as quick as I can. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this and let me know what you think. And if you'd like to see more, just let me know what. And yeah, we'll just go with the flow. And thanks for coming along the vlogging YouTube life with me. Hopefully you have a lovely evening, morning, afternoon, whatever you're doing while you're watching this. And I will see you again in my next vlog. And thanks so much for watching. Have a lovely day. That sounded really cheesy. Just bye.